Hi, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. Well, I'm in my sewing room today to do this introduction and exit. Not because I'm going to do a sewing video, but it's easier for me to get in here uh, with my knee surgery and uh, do this. Today is 14 days post-surgery, and I'm doing fantastically. So this video, Ernie shot just today about the replacement of the face of our automatic lock on the trailer. It's a pretty simple procedure. He also changed the batteries out because you got to do that once in a while. You'll notice that one of the uh, two on the uh, keypad was actually punctured in. We only have had this keypad since about May. Uh, so it didn't last long. So um, this is rvlock.com is where we got the keypad as well as the replacement pads. And also I'll show you a couple of little pictures of my recuperation. Hope you like the video. Today's little project is a matter of replacing the number pad on the RV lock. If you notice, the number two has literally been worn out. Uh, it's a very thin membrane and I've been able to order replacement parts that look like this. They're available from the manufacturer on the manufacturer's website for about $11 a piece. It looks like a simple stick-on, so it's just a matter of peeling one off and sticking one back. The other little project I'm going to do after I complete this is just replace the batteries because they do wear out. And we'll show you that when we get to it. I'm going to use a small X-Acto knife to peel off the front of the membrane. I should be able to get it in right there on the edge and free up. The stick on membrane itself. As you see it comes right off. And then it's just a matter of pulling off the fresh membrane. It's on the sticker here. And sticking it in place. We'll run our finger over it a few times to make sure it's made good contact. And then there's an outer edge that's just a cover for the peel that will get off in just a second. There you have it, brand new keypad cover for the RV lock. As an FYI, I did order two of them just in case the next one goes out or when it goes out. I'm going to keep that in the uh, little packet that I have of all the papers and essentials for the trailer. Thank you. 
And the other little project I have today is to replace the batteries in the lock. It is a keypad driven or remote driven and it's an electronic lock so it, batteries do wear out and it's just a matter of, matter of uh, removing a screw or two to get to the batteries which I'll do now. They're double A. I'm just going to remove the screw from the panel. And there we are, four batteries to replace, two up, two down. Pop them, but don't drop them. They'll just go into the recycle disposal. There's two of the four. Make sure there's good contact. I like to wiggle them around, clean off the edges. And then it's just a matter of replacing the panel. Of course, if you drop the screw, you got to go down and pick it up. Just lightly finger tight to hold it in. A quick test with the remote. And we're good as new. Well, I hope you liked the video on my progress as well as the replacement of the face of the RV key lock. The key lock we got is from RVLock.com as well as the replacement pads, stickers, and um, I'm doing very well. I was walking with the cane at uh, 11 days and in my sewing room by the 13th day. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, share, comment, and of course subscribe. There are a lot more videos coming up. Thanks for watching and stay crafty.